Books are beautiful. You know, I really like it when publishers like spend time making books look really good, um, both the actual like dust jacket covers and then just um, the book itself or the typography on the inside or just all these different things that just make books look really, really good as opposed to just a black outside with the white pages with the black font and that's it. So with that being said, I wanted to share with you some of the books that I think are absolutely beautiful. All books are beautiful, but these ones are really beautiful. So first on my beautiful books list, I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And I know that the cover of like the mass paperback is a little bit different, or a lot bit different than this one. That's why I wanted to get the hardcover because of how beautiful it is. I just really love this cover. I love that it's like the shiny, like normal cover, but then like the hand and the, the tents and everything are matte finish. Um, I don't know how well you can tell. I don't know if this is helping at all, but like if they use different um, finishes on on different parts of the book, and I just thought that was really cool and. It just makes it that much more whimsical, I guess, because this book is a very, very, like, magical, fantastical book. This is probably one of my favorite covers, and the, the side is really cool looking too with all the stripes. It's just very circusy, and, and yeah, I don't know, it's just a really cool cover. And then not only that, but they made the actual book really cool looking too with all this, like, filigree and the silver, and it's just, I don't know, It's it just makes it that much more special when you can look under the cover, under the desk jacket cover, and see more awesomeness. And then, if that wasn't cool enough, they went one step farther and made the inside cool with freaking black and white stripes all over uh, the front and the back. So, I mean, they just took their time to make this book really, really cool looking, and I am very glad. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Whoever designed this book, I should say. You're the unsung heroes of the book industry. Another book that I just think is so, so beautiful is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, and it is this cover specifically because I love the style of this artwork. I love that it's almost like has like an anime feel to it, and this is my favorite cover out of all of them. I don't know why. I just think she looks the coolest on this cover. I just love the fire kind of all behind her and her hair just blowing the wind, and then I love that they took the time and added almost like a second cover to the back. It's really hard to see. It's really faint, but there's another um, of her and she's in a dress this time, and I don't know, it was just really cool. I do love really simple covers, but I also really love ones that are just like over the top, like you have to study the cover for a while to really see everything in it. And so with that being said, I absolutely love the cover for The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I haven't actually read this book yet, but just the cover alone kind of tells you just what kind of story it's going to be. It takes place in the woods, and it's just very like earthy and gritty, and I don't know, kind of dark. And so yeah, this book is just really cool looking um, with the butterfly, the really bright blue butterfly and the green. What's the inside look like? Just another black book, but that's okay again because the front cover completely makes up for it. This one, I will admit, I bought solely for the cover, and that one is Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman, and just look at this. It is so cool looking, so like rustic and western, and and another like gritty looking book with like the skulls and the guns. I love those guns, they look so cool, but then it's also like completely like contrasting with like the pretty flowers and I don't know this was just another one that's just so so cool looking and again I don't know when I'll read it I didn't buy it because I wanted to read it I bought it because I wanted the cover and so the last two books that I wanted to show you are actually books that I think are beautiful because of what is under the dust jacket so with that being said I have Untamed by A.G. Howard and here is the actual dust jacket it is very pretty and all of that I do really really love the dust jacket but that's not why we're here this is why I thought this book was so so beautiful because of the awesome blue foil filigree on the actual book. The color and it's all the swoopies, which I love, and I don't know, it's just, it looks so good against the black, and it's just very beautiful. And this is another one of those where they, they worked really hard on making the inside look really good too, because the font, the font is blue. They used blue ink in the inside of this book instead of just black ink, and I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. So that's really exciting. And then the last book that I want to show you, another naked naked book, um, is Passenger by Alexander Bracken, and guys, I mean, come on, with the tree, and it's silver, and it's very, like, Lord of the Rings-esque, and it's just, like, oh, so pretty, and it's a light blue, and so it looks really good with the silver, and it's dyed, <laughs> so pretty, like, can we just, like, sit here and take a moment to appreciate just how amazing this is, like, I want this tattooed on me, like, it's a really cool picture of a tree, it's not just, like, some tree, it's, like, freaking awesome looking, I like it, so, so, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you have a great night, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!